In this video, I'd like to talk about congruent triangles. And in geometry, congruent essentially means equal. But if we want a little bit more precise of a definition, we can say that congruent triangles have the same shape and they have the same size. So if we start with some triangle and perform transformations on it, like sliding the triangle around, that would be a translation, or rotating the triangle, maybe about some fixed point, or if we reflect the triangle about some line, and I won't draw this exactly, but maybe it will look something like that after reflection, then by following those three transformations, the new triangle will be congruent to the original triangle. But if we perform the transformation of scaling, either making the triangle bigger or by making it smaller, then they will no longer be congruent. In fact, we have a different word for that. We would call those triangles similar. They have the same shape, but not the same size. So if we look at an example, let me paste in a copy of this triangle here. So in other words, if we have this triangle that we're starting with, if we move the triangle around, that's called a translation, it will still be congruent to the original triangle. If we rotate the triangle, it will still be congruent to the original triangle. And if we reflect the triangle, and this one I don't have a tool to do that, but we can imagine that original line that I drew and reflecting it maybe through a line right in the, in the middle of these, then these two triangles will still be congruent. But if I were to take the triangle, let me put it back to its original orientation, and if we took this and scaled it, so either made it much smaller or much bigger, this new triangle will no longer be congruent, but it will be what we call similar. It will have the same shape, but no longer the same size. And for these congruent triangles, let me just make a little bit of room. We have some notation to say that they are congruent to each other. We could say that triangle, let me rewrite that, triangle ABC is congruent, and we'll use an equal sign with a wavy line on top, to triangle DEF. And we need to be very careful about the order in which we write these letters since the order tells us which sides of the triangles correspond to each other. So for instance, the line segment or the side AB is equal to this side DE. Notice how the letters correspond to each other. We can say that line segment AB is equal to line segment DE. We can also say that Line segment BC and EF, these shorter segments are equal to each other. So BC is equal to EF. And lastly, we can say that line segment AC and DF are equal to each other. And you can see that that is the last sides here and here. And I'm using different colors to denote that these are all three different line segments, but sometimes you might see just multiple tick marks to denote which ones are equal to each other. And with congruent triangles, not only do they have three sets of equal side lengths, they also have three sets of equal angles. So for instance, if we look at this angle here, this would correspond to the same angle here, since notice A is the first letter and D is the first letter here, so they would share equal angles, or you can think of this letter as marking the vertex of the angle. So we could write that angle BAC is equal to angle EDF. Of course, remember with angles, you can write them in the opposite way. You could say F, D, E, that's the same thing. Or we could just write these with their vertices. 
So I can say that angle A is equal to angle D. And likewise, we can do that with the other two angles. We can say that angle B here is equal to angle E, since notice those are both the middle letter. And again, we can use either different colors or multiple markings for these angles. And then lastly, notice we have C and F corresponding to each other. And we can mark that angle C, now using three marks, is equal to angle F. And with congruent triangles, there are many different ways to determine if the triangles are congruent to each other. And the most common one you see is when all three side lengths are equal to each other. We call that the side, side, side congruence postulate or criterion, but we have several others. It could be that if the two triangles share a side, an angle, and another side where the angle is between the two sides, so maybe this side, this angle, and this side, and the corresponding ones on the other one, then the two triangles are equal. We also have angle, side, angle. If we have an angle that corresponds to the other triangle, a side length next to that angle, and then the angle on the other side of that line segment, then the two triangles are congruent. We also have angle, angle, side. So if you have two angles in a row that correspond to the other triangle, and then after that you have a side length that also corresponds to the other triangle, then you know they're equal. And lastly, we have what is called the hypotenuse leg theorem or criteria that can determine if they're congruent. And this deals with right triangles. If you know the hypotenuse and you know one of the legs and you know one of the angles is a right angle, then the two triangles are congruent to each other. But there are relationships that don't work. For instance, angle, 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 this will not necessarily imply that the two triangles are congruent. Even if all the angles are equal in a triangle, one triangle could be much smaller than the other triangle. You can imagine fitting a triangle on the inside, this is not perfectly drawn, that has all the same equal angles, but it's much smaller, so it's not going to be congruent. In fact, those triangles we call similar triangles. They have the same shape, but not the same size. And lastly, there is also side, side angle, which is related to the hypotenuse leg. This is usually not going to apply congruence unless the angle is 90 degrees. So these you have to be careful about, and these can imply congruence between true triangles. So sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to figure out if they are congruent, and we will look at these criteria in later videos.